Hello, this is Shannon of Ebony Geek 45 and we have a couple things to do today and um, I'm hoping that we can get through this tutorial so we can finally get to our question and I want to mention the, um, subscribe subscribe to us on YouTube that way you will be able to catch up with our updates and everything when they happen also, if you would like to find me on Twitter, then we could follow along that way too. Okay, now we want to get to our coding because as I said, we have a couple things to do. And I had a message from a young lady called Angie V. And she's from Chicago on the west side of Chicago. And so she asked me a question and what did I intend to do when I said that you could do two things as far as dealing with divide and the remainder and which is I modulus and she was thinking what I was thinking which is you could also do it with a double and that it would be decimals that came out instead of the actual remainder you would have a decimal in that form of an answer and what she did was she tried it and then she lost her way and so what she did was she just simply changed int into double like that and she saved it and she ran it and it didn't come out the way she thought and here's what happened okay anytime soon please okay and as you can see it pretty much stayed the same and the reason being and maybe some of you know but if you're gonna use a double with the formula here or not the formula but well with the value of I1 divided by I2 then you cannot use an int variable to get a double result and so what you got to do is um, let me give myself some space here and I think what I want to do here is print out a little sentence and the sentence that I want to print out is results for division in decimals and then we want to put the yeah I want to take that uh, and then do one of those thingies and at this point we're just in the line so what that'll do is that'll print out what we doing here okay and what you want to do is you want to start with your variable and we're going to name it d1 and then we're going to equal it to 22 and again we want to do d2 and we want to equal it to 3 and so it's pretty much matching what we did up top okay so at this point see what I mean by is pretty much matching what we did up top so at this point we want to go ahead and and we're gonna go D D well D divide <laughs> equals and then we're going to put our twin not 22 d1 divided by d2 
Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut some corners here. And yes, I know there's a quicker way to do it. All right. And like I said, if you if you want a double result in being the answer, then you have to use double numbers. You can't use ints and then think that your result is gonna gonna print all right. So if we run, if we did everything right here, and let me close up my box, and we run it, then we're gonna come up with pretty soon. We're gonna come up with results for the division in decimals seven. Okay, and what we did was we made the mistake of using our integer. So, D divide. Okay, and so let me take that space out and let's try it again. And let's close our window and run it. And that's what the result that she was looking for. So, Angie V, that's how you do it. And if you have any more questions about anything, if I can help, I will try. Now, let's go ahead because we burnt through a couple minutes trying to do that. And here's what we want to do. Now, when you're doing stuff like this, a lot of people say, well, I see what you're doing but it's not quite useful so why don't what if we made a more complicated adding type super simple thingy than we did before and so let's try taking on our values okay and you might know where I'm going with this and so now we have our variables, our variables, our we have our variables, and they're not. What we're doing is we're just declaring them here. You see what I'm doing, and we want to make this useful in some kind of way. Instead of you know having a variable there, we can't do quite nothing with it when it still got numbers in it like that. And so what we want to do. And we're going to bring this down a little bit. And we want to make two prompts. And it's going to be, okay, our first prompt, we're going to start off by, in, um, we're going to start off by printing out the line, remember? And it's going to ask a question. And it's going to say, enter your first number and we're going to put a space there and then we're going to put our insertion operator and in line okay then the next thing we're going to do on the next line we're going to make our prompt and it's going to be cn remember we did this in one of our previous tutorials and Let's go ahead and go through this. If you don't remember, I'm going to explain it in a few minutes. And we're going to go enter your second. And then we're going to end the line. And then we're going to go and we're going to do the same thing because we want okay I'll, I'll explain it in a few minutes and I'm gonna correct my mistake right there and we want this first one to be why did I do that like that we want the first one to be I1 I apologize we want the second one to be I2 
and I'm trying to keep an eye on this time and hopefully we'll get through this one before time runs out okay so instead of declaring our variable and putting a value in it and only we could calculate the value to make this whole thing a little bit more useful in everyday practices we want to try to make something that we could use and it might not be the most you know best thing but it is you know something we made and something is useful okay so what we're doing here is printing out a question into your first number and then as you remember our second line here to this block of code is bringing in information from the user to be stored in I1 and remember how we did that and so what we put bring in from the user into the keyboard meaning I could key in any number that I want and it's going to be stored in I1 and the same thing down here only is going to be stored in I2 and so let's see what happens here we want to save it and I want to close my window that I never close and we want to run it okay and as you can see it's asking us our question into the first number and then I'm going to just because we've been using this is use 22 and then our next one and that's going to be you guessed it 3 and as you can see it came out with the results 25 and 19 because remember 22 and 3 22 plus 3 is 25 22 minus 3 is 19 22 times 3 is 66 22 divided by 3 is 7 and it have a remainder of 1 which modulus gives you the remainder and so we have something a little helpful that we might want to use or might want to brag that we made okay now you gotta remember we still have our variables in here and so this is you know it's not the right um it's not using this and get out of here it's not using what we enter here is using what we have here in the code for it and so in our next tutorial we're going to finish it up and get our input that we could put in here so that we could have division and it's going to be a two part type a super adding machine Cody type thing okay and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this tutorial here and do check us out for the next tutorial where we'll be finishing this up and finally getting into the incrementing and then the next tutorial we'll get into the next question okay and for what I for right now all I want to say is good luck and happy coding